Hi Space Enthusiasts, today we're going to embark on an exciting journey to explore the mysteries of Venus, the second planet from our Sun. Did you know that Venus is quite similar in size to planet Earth? But the reality is they couldn't be more different once you take a closer look. Now Venus is covered in a dense thick atmosphere made of sulfuric acid. Now this gives Venus its yellow-like appearance. Now could you imagine walking along Venus and seeing nothing but yellow hazy clouds? On Venus you'll find valleys, mountains and volcanoes and Venus is geologically active so often these volcanoes will erupt with hot lava. Now Venus has a really thick dense atmosphere made up of mostly carbon dioxide. Now that would be like breathing in a fizzy drink but not a very tasty one. That's why we have to be really thankful for the lovely breathable air that we have here on planet Earth. Now, if you want to know a really crazy fact about Venus, it's that on Venus a day is longer than a year. Now let me explain how this works. Venus takes around 225 days to do one full orbit around our Sun. However, because Venus rotates so slowly, it actually takes 243 days to complete one rotation on its axis. So that means a day is longer than a Venus year. That's crazy! Other than having a non-breathable atmosphere and sulfuric acid rain and dense clouds surrounding the entire planet, one of the other things that might put you off of going on holiday to Venus is its extreme temperature. It can get close to 500 degrees Celsius or 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That is hotter than the hottest setting on your oven. That really is super, super hot. Back in the 1970s, Russia sent craft, spacecraft, to Venus to try and land on its surface and take photos of the surface of Venus. Now, after a few attempts, multiple failures of certain spacecraft, they actually managed to land on the surface. This happened in 1975 with the Venera 9 and the Venera 10 spacecraft. Now these spacecraft didn't last very long at all, but here are some fantastic pictures of Venus's surface. How crazy is that? Now after a very short time, around 45 minutes to an hour on average, the spacecraft succumbed to the extreme atmosphere, pressure and temperature of Venus's surface. So if you think that a spacecraft struggles to survive on Venus, it makes you wonder, is there possibly life? Scientists have largely dismissed notions of any possible life on Venus. However, it is theoretically possible. The only way that we think life could exist on Venus, beyond microscopic organisms that can survive extremes, is possibly in the cloud structures of Venus because the temperature and the atmospheric pressure reduces the higher up you go into the atmosphere. So although not likely, it is theoretically possible for life to exist on Venus. And there is even the possibility and belief that Venus was once a lush planet much like planet Earth's but due to the runaway greenhouse effect it's quickly heated up and become uninhabitable over millions of years. Due to the thick atmosphere of Venus this runaway greenhouse effect that I refer to is essentially the sunlight being captured by the majority of the planet rather than being reflected away and this is due to Venus's opaque thick yellow atmosphere. So was Venus once habitable and not too dissimilar to our own planet? 
Maybe we don't really know in what form that would have looked like on Venus, but what we do know is that it is changed over millions of millions of years to the planet that it is today, far different than our own planet is right now. Thanks for joining me today on our adventure to the planet Venus. Do watch our other video on the planet Mercury and check out that amazing planet as well. And if you found this video valuable and enjoyable, please do hit that like and subscribe button as it helps us to bring more exciting content your way. And do keep an eye out because this is going to be an ongoing series where we're going to explore the entire solar system. Do check it out and keep an eye out for those videos. Take care everyone and stay adventurous and I'll see you very soon.